threat of avalanches is adding even more danger to the desperate rescue mission to save trapped livestock in the South Island. Record snow levels have left many big farming stations in serious trouble. Donna Mareliva joined the effort to save more than 2,000 stranded merino sheep at Ben McLeod Station in South Canterbury. These volunteers have answered a desperate call for help. By day, they're accountants, lawyers, even hunters. But up here on the unforgiving and icy slopes, their only job is to save the stock. The issue for us is that the clock's ticking. We've got a certain amount of time left to get these sheep out while they have their strength. 2,000 merinos are in trouble, and sometimes a nudge is all they need to get going. It's a long way down in the high country. The steep terrain of Ben McLeod Station spanning 18 kilometres, so safety has to come first. The guys we put up here are very familiar with these sort of conditions. We were a little bit concerned about avalanche, so we actually had an avalanche expert come in here and check it yesterday before we put the people up here. Casualties can't be helped. We've lost a few stock. Temperatures here 13 degrees below freezing. And while the snow was well forecast... The ewes didn't play ball. They drifted back up the hill on the night of the snow. Merino is big business here and farmers' livelihoods rely on the rescue mission. It's the second this week. Those 3,000 ewes have already been snow raked to safety. And down here at the homestead, we've found one week old Max. This wee pup was born during the snowstorm. He's dead to be a working dog and will start training in just six weeks. Down from the tops, machines are now carving tracks to a vital water supply for stock. Farmers will need to keep them well fed and watered too until the snow has passed. Donna Marie Lever, One News.